I know and appreciate the people of Iowa. I know and respect your values, your love of God and family, your belief in the dignity of work, and your honest patriotism. I learned about this when I lived and worked here many years ago. And during that time, I came to know and worked with an Iowan who was destined to be one day be called the conscience of the United States Congress. His name was H.R. Gross. And long before either of us had any thought of a political career, H.R. and I worked at WHO Radio, and that was where I had, among other things, some lessons in the words or in, in the economy of words. One day, Ed Reimers, you'll remember Ed Reimers, you're in good hands. And Ed was an announcer on the staff there, and he and I were in the studio, and Ed had just done the station break. It takes about 20 seconds before you went back to the network program, and uh, not having a commercial or anything to fill the time, he said, uh, this is radio station WHO, Des Moines, Iowa. And in a few minutes, the studio door opened, and our boss came in, B.J. Palmer. And he said, uh, I heard the station break, Ed. Ed said, yes, B.J. He said, you know, advertisers pay a lot to get their messages on the air. We should eliminate as much unnecessary conversation as we can. And then he said, you don't need to say this is. If they're listening, they know this is. <laughs> Ed said, yes, B.J. And he says, and Ed, you don't need radio station that's all their sets can get. <laughs> and again, Ed said, yes, B.J. Now he's down to WHO Des Moines, Iowa. And B.J. started to leave, got halfway through the door, and then turned back and over his shoulder said, Ed, there's only one Des Moines, and it's in Iowa. <laughs>